Hi, my name is Jonathan Hogel. I'm a lead engineer here at Richard Carlton Consulting and the primary engineer of FM Starting Point. Today, I want to talk to you about an issue that has come up with the PayPal API. PayPal has released an update with their API today, the 18th of June, that changed the way PayPal sends links back to the users. The way that the API currently works, we would send a bunch of information to PayPal so they can create the invoice, and then they would send us back the invoice information that they had on their side, as well as a small collection of links that you could use to do different things with the invoice you created, such as send it to whoever it's for, or get the status of the invoice. FileMaker is not equipped to deal with the links in the way that PayPal now returns them to us. In order to fix the issue so we can still do those things, we need to go to the FileMaker script and change out the areas where we used to reference the links that PayPal sent us with the actual necessary links to do what we're trying to do. So first, in script 4201, the push invoice to PayPal script, you want to go down here to line 264, click on the little gear icon, and click the second specify button next to where it says calculated result. Once you're here, all you need to do is copy the URL at the very, very top right here. You only want to, you want to start here on the second line. You want to include the quote marks and go all the way to the end after the word send. Make sure you have the quote marks on both sides. After you copy this, you just want to move it up here to line number 245. Click on the gear icon once more, and again, the second specify button, and paste what you just copied. That's all you need to do for script 4201. The next script we're going to fix is script number 4203, get PayPal status. You're going to fix it in a very similar way. First, you want to go to here, line number 131, click on the gear icon, and the second specify, and copy the URL at the top. In this one, you only want to go to this line right here at the very end of where it says PayPal invoice ID. After you copy that, you can press OK to save it. Go back up to line number 117, open up the variable, hit specify on the second line where it says value, and paste what you just copied. That will take care of the issue and allow you to once more get the status of the invoice that you have sent to PayPal. And that's it. That's all you have to do. The fixes are now in place and PayPal will once again work how it should.